Okay, so this lesson is to help you work through the French flag assignment on Code uh, High School. Now, I'm not actually going to walk you through the French flag assignment because I don't want to tell you the answer. Um, but the first attempts that I saw from several of you, the same error kept occurring. And that was that you tried to specify the width and height of each bar. You would assign it a pixel size. And I'm not really sure where you were um, getting the pixel size from. Maybe you were guessing. But that's not really going to work. And hopefully you figured that out um, when I assigned you the, the web page design, the HTML stuff. Because people are working with different screen sizes. So like um, one person could be on a tablet and one person could be on a widescreen uh, desktop. That was a widescreen monitor. And so you can't really specify a pixel size. You need to specify it in relation to the width of the canvas. And that's why, where most of us went wrong. So let me just walk you through this example of the Mauritian flag. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mauritian flag, neither was I. I was just trying to find one that had stripes. So this is what the Mauritian flag looks like. You notice that you have four stripes, um, the red, the blue, the yellow, and the green. So we're going to try to create a Mauritian flag in Code High School. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you what my program is going to do. So this program should draw the Mauritian flag. The top fourth of the canvas is red. The second fourth of the canvas is blue. The third fourth of the, oops, I misspelled canvas, of the canvas is yellow. And the last fourth of the canvas is green. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and write in there, uh, wow, I cannot type today, write in there start function. Okay, so let's just start um, with a couple of things first, let's just agree upon. First, if we look at the picture of the Mauritian flag, we can probably agree that the height of each bar is going to be equal. Okay, so they're each a fourth of the canvas. And the width of each bar is going to be equal. Um, so it's the whole canvas. So let's go back and try to determine what the dimensions for a rectangle height and width are going to be. So I'm going to define a new variable. I'm going to call it variable rectangle width. Okay, so we know that the width of these rectangles are the whole canvas. So if we tell the computer to get the width of the whole canvas, that's automatically going to be the width of each rectangle. Now let's worry about the height. Well, how tall um, is each of these bars, each of these stripes? Think about it in relation to the whole canvas. How many stripes make up the canvas? Four. So each bar is a quarter of the canvas tall. So I'm going to type, uh, define a new variable, rectangle height. And this time I do want to get the height, but I need to do something else. So the height is going to get me the whole height of the canvas from top to bottom. But each stripe is going to only be a fourth of that. So let's go ahead and get the height and then divide by four. Okay, so those are going to be the dimensions for every rectangle I draw on this flag. So now I'm ready to actually just start working on my rectangles. So let's define a new variable. My first stripe is red, so let's call him variable red rectangle. Okay, and then um, we tell the computer that we need a new rectangle with. And the first, the first parameter we have to specify is the width. Well, every width is going to be the width of the 
canvas and we've already specified that we've created a variable for that called rectangle width so we just call that variable now we need the height well we've already decided it's going to be the whole height divided by four and we call that variable so we created the variable rectangle height now we want this rectangle to be red so we need to set its color so red rectangle we're calling our variable dot set color and want it color we want its color to be red and then red rectangle dot set position we can tell where we want it to start well we want it to start at zero zero up here in the upper left hand corner so that's where this rectangle will begin now think about this will every rectangle start at zero zero absolutely not you'd have four stripes on top of each other so that will change as we um, put in more stripes okay then finally we have to actually add this rectangle to the canvas because he's not going to appear yet so let's add our red rectangle okay now let's run this and see what it says uh oh let's see I have a little typo here let me find it ah I see it I just didn't close my bracket so close that bracket. Now let's try and run it. Perfect. I have a red stripe right where I wanted it. It matches the red stripe at the top of the Mauritian flag. So now let's work on my blue stripe. Okay, so we're going to need a new variable. Variable, I'm going to call him very originally blue rectangle. Equals we want a new rectangle. With rectangle width. Again, the same variable because we still want it to be the full width and rectangle height because we just want a quarter of the height now we're gonna set the color here for this blue rectangle we want it to be blue of course now here's where the big change is going to come where is this thing going to be where is it going to live so if we put it in the same place what will happen? Let me go ahead and add it and we can see what will happen if I don't move its coordinates. Okay, well it covers up my red one. That's not what I want. What I need to do is just shift it down below this red rectangle. So what do I need to do with my ordered pair here um, to get that to happen? Now remember your X and Y um, coordinates. This is just an X and Y ordered pair. So if we changed X, it would be moving it right and left. And that's not all we want. We want to move it up and down. So we need to change this Y coordinate. But how much do we need to shift it down by? Okay. Well, we need to shift it down the whole length of the red, the red stripe, the red rectangle. Um, or not the whole length, the whole width, or the height, right? So how high is the red rectangle? We have a variable for that, right? Rectangle height. So let's call the variable rectangle height, because that is the height of the red rectangle, and see if that shifts our blue rectangle down. Ah, oh, perfect. Exactly what we want. Now, we've got our red and our blue stripe. Let's go for the yellow one. So now I want a variable yellow rectangle equals new rectangle, rectangle width, rectangle height. Okay, now we need to define the yellow rectangle's position. Again, we don't want to shift it in terms of X and Y. So the X, or I'm sorry, sorry, in terms of X, we don't want to shift it right to left. So that's going to remain the same. We do want to shift it down. Now remember, this rectangle needs to be shifted down below the red and below the blue. So our normal shift of just one rectangle height is insufficient. And you'll see why. Let's go ahead and add it and you can see why that won't be enough. 
off. So it covers up my blue one. It shifted down below the red, but not below the blue. Well, what do I need to do? Well, actually, it's going to have to shift that, that length twice. So if we multiply rectangle height by 2, ah, perfect. Then my yellow stripe is now below my red and blue stripe. So we're almost finished here. We just need that green stripe at the bottom. So let's add one more variable and call him green rectangle. So green rectangle dot set color. He's going to be green. All right, and now we've got to set position, which is the hard part. Okay, now think about this. Again, not shifting in terms of X. Let's think about Y. Hopefully you see the pattern now. The, the red stripe didn't need to be shifted at all, so it was at zero. The blue stripe needed to be shifted by one length. The yellow stripe needed to be shifted by two lengths. And now the green stripe is going to have to be shifted by three lengths. And then add our green rectangle. Hopefully, unless I've, oh, forgot that. There we go. And our Mauritian flag is complete and pretty well matches um, the original flag.